Hey guys, Ken here with Tax Canine uh, here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I wanted to do a quick uh, little maintenance tip on uh, your uh, gunner kennels. Um, we have gunner kennels in our at our facility here. We have a variety of different kennels, um, but one of the things we do want to make mention is that you should do some sort of at least semi-annual or annual maintenance on your actual kennel equipment for your dog. Um, with the gunner kennel, uh, first of all, I always like to start off with the uh, kennel kind of already in its locked position. Now there are a total of six bolts, three on each side, uh, long carriage bolts, um, and they just back out over time. So what you can do to do this, uh, what you need is just a couple basic hand tools, uh, get a socket set uh, that has a 7 16 um, socket head on it, a number two Phillips screwdriver, and then some WD-40 liquid wrench, uh, some sort of hinge lubricant, um, and then you can, if you choose to, get some Loctite. The bolts originally had some on there. Loctite is a thread sealant, almost kind of like a glue for it. So what you can do is just get some thread sealant, a small little dab will do you. Find the original bolt, uh, the bolt hole. Now, gunner kennel puts the, the uh, bolt that this is threading into in, molded into the plastic of the actual crate itself. So once you finger tightened it, um, now you can just put your little socket on there. Couple extra tight uh, 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 turns here. Because now you do not have to wrench down on it, which means like, Argh! that kind of thing, just gentle, okay? So gentle and snug. There we go. All right. Take your number two screwdriver. Uh, Retighten all your handles up here. Doesn't take a whole lot just to kind of retug these in because the fabric and the, the metal grommets that, that hold the straps in place will, uh, will tear if they have some uh, flex. They're meant to be snug and tight. Number two, so that you don't strip out the screw on the screwdriver. And then... What I like to do is I like to just put a little bit of uh, WD-40 lubricant on all of the hinges and latches going down. Get a rag, just kind of clean that up. Work them in, work it in a few times. Open it, close it, open it, close it. Just kind of work that lubricant in there. Give it a nice little shot down the center and a little bit in the latch area. And then what I would also recommend is pouring a little where the bottom locks and the top locks go into. Okay, and now this uh, gunner kennel will operate as if it was brand new. So again, the tools you need, if you have a gunner kennel, it's gonna be some liquid wrench for the hinges uh, and the uh, hardware, a number two screwdriver or screw head, uh, Phillips head and a 716 socket wrench. And again, this is for the gunner kennel only, but if you have other kennels in your shop uh, or in your um, in your kennel room uh, or you use other kennels, retighten everything. If you have metal crates, guys, zip tie the corners on the on the top, uh, the center and the bottom. Get to just buy it at the local, local big box store some zip ties, some plastic cable zip ties to give it some extra rigidity. And again, just do, do, do some lubricant on the latches. Uh, if you have a plastic airline type kennel, make sure that you get your hardware here. Uh, these are just some really quick tips, tips that help. This, this kennel is about five years old. Um, it's hold a lot of dogs, been through a lot. We use it a lot. Um, professional grade, we do highly recommend these if you do traveling um, or if you're in sport dog work or hunting uh, where you need to put this in the, um, in the back of the truck or the, 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 uh, the SUV. It's got some really nice uh, uh, metal rods that run through there that give you some uh, tie down points. And um, yeah, so we're big fans of Gunner Cannell here, but um, the key to it is maintain it. If you want it to last a long time, you've invested a lot of money, take care of it. So just a friendly tip from uh, Ken here at Tags Canine in Las Vegas. Thanks a lot, guys. Good job, Doc.